Yeah, this is going on the tube. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Show up that Pigeon Bay boat launch with Joe, different fins from YouTube. And <laughs> check this out. <laughs> I'm already making you go swimming. <laughs> There's the remnants of the rope. Yeah, that was a uh, that was one of those irresponsible ideas. How you feeling? <laughs> I think my balls are on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool beauteous. Let's get her done. There she be. I got the, there's the sun. Sun's right behind us. <sighs> I'll be a minute here if you want to turn around so you have the sun in the right. Oh, it's all good. No, we'll get her done here. We're on the Gitchigumi, Lake Superior. I think my first clip's going to be you in the water, so they'll already know who I'm with. <laughs> But we, we got the 72 Lund out, we got the 20 horse on. It's the first time I've been out this year, just because of the move and everything, and been busy and house stuff, and, but I've missed the fishing. But we've got two Lakers so far. We released one, kept one. We got one in the cooler, obviously. Just little guys. You'll see it pretty much right after this, this clip. And uh, yeah, launched that Pigeon, Pigeon Bay boat launch. Water temp is 44 Fahrenheit. And we're just anywhere between 17 feet of water to, I don't know, 75, 80, sometimes 100. We had a lake trout in about 100. And uh, just washing lures. Washing lures. Joe's just retying. And we're currently in 65 feet of water, about four kilometers an hour, and just trolling. So we'll, we'll see what goes on today and see what we get into. And go from there because that's that's fishing the fish are bonus this is a beautiful day gorgeous day okay you're going back don't worry ah. we got a bleeder yeah first fish of the day not bad it's getting deep yeah whoa <laughs> okay he's gone <laughs> i can still see him there he goes he's good oh yeah Yo, that water's cold, man. That water's yes. so cold. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to tell me. <laughs> yeah, you checked my bait. So that was like at 100 feet. That was 100 feet. It was pretty well right off these solar panels. Yeah. All right. But I'll know solar panels. And I was 70 feet rabbit, back. You just pick one up here, one there. And who knows how long he was following it for. That's true too. Right? Oh, I don't know if I got him still. Oh yeah, you do. Oh, I got him. Another Laker? Another Laker. It's all right, we're gonna keep that guy. Nice. In the net. Woo. Oh. Maybe it's gonna be a lake trout day. <laughs> I'm okay with it. They're so powerful. Oh, that's wicked. Awesome. That's probably cookie cutter, same size as the other one, eh? A little smaller, I think the other one's just a bit bigger. But... Yeah. A little bit of sea lice on them. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Just keep it's... going and then turn around at those solar panels? That, that works. I think that's probably the best case scenario. Did you put a waypoint where you uh, picked up the last one? It was pretty much right off this shoal. Um, it was, right. Like, give or take, right where we... I'm going to record here. Hour, 14 minutes. Let's see. Yeah, we didn't really move that far. Like, I'll put a waypoint where we are. I'm gonna give myself a little bit more floral. Yeah, it's a... Uh, I think it's a game changer. The proof is in the pudding there. Well, I said, if you get one more in front of, before I do, I grabbed a couple of uh, lures too. That one might work. Oh yeah. Ooh. That looks like it'll dive deep too, like a slimmer profile. And that's the lip I got. Yeah. Well, you know what, why don't I... I'll use uh, I'll I'm gonna show stick with my viewers. confidence lure for a bit. Look at the lip on there, nice, beautiful. It's got a little bit of holographics on it, but not crazy. I'm just 70 feet back. You're about 70 back, eh? Give or take, yep. Second laker of the day. 
If it's a lake trout day, I'm okay with it. It's superior, man. I don't care. I know. <laughs> Are we still in Canada? We're in Canada. I don't want to go into the into the Americas just yet. Well, it's probably 150 feet right here, supposedly. Huh. We'll see what happens. Turn the live scope on. It's funny, just in in the camera lens, I got it on. And there's just like you can see a little bit of lot like land behind me here, and then to my left is just like nothing, just lake, oh, just just oh, lake. Yeah. <laughs> 128. We're coming up. A hawk or an eagle? Eagle. I'm marking a bunch of fish on bottom. How deep? Uh, 120 feet. Okay. Like there's, it's got to be bait or something. This goes for white fish. One twenty four here and there's like there's some fish off the shore. Could oh. always come back and uh, try jigging too. Don't see anything on the live scope, but it doesn't mean they're not there. Joe's hooked up! Finally! Oh my gosh, bud! That only took about five hours. Woo. What do we got? And it looks like a salmon. It's a salmon! It's not my first ever pink salmon. Is that a pink salmon? That's a pinky. Get in the net! She's in. Oh, we're good. <laughs> Way to go. Way to go, boy. You know what? I'm Beauty. Gonna I'm going to keep it. I think that's a... No, that's a pinky. That's got the big humpback on. That's a pink. Yeah, it's a pink. Nice. Do this. You're good. Do what? Do whatever you need. My first ever pink. I got a uh, photo of it, too. Beautiful fish, buddy. Look at that. Just out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Look at the chrome. Beauty. You can tell it's getting the hump. It's about to go up river. Yep. Gorgeous fish, man. Uh, right there. <laughs> That's, That's what sweet. we're looking for. Pinks, shinnies, cohos, rainbows, whatever. Yeah. We are happy with pike. <laughs> yeah, we're like anything, like a 12 inch pike, something. <laughs> It's been a minute. I've, I think I've had three or four hits and it's just been taps and off. And uh, that's our first fish going that way. It is. They've going all been uh, heading east. Yeah. I don't know. Some crackpot theory. I don't know. Yeah, we're trying to get a pattern here. But everyone around us is down rigging. And they're not having much luck. No. Nope. But that's we, uh, our. That's also, our third we fish. had uh, some friendly conservation officers show up. Yeah, a couple of COs. And they said, uh, yeah, it's been slow for everybody. So it's not just us. No. Nope. Beauty yes. Well, we're going to dispatch this guy. And uh, we're in the shallows. Yeah, what depth is that? You can see, feet. we're about 16 feet of water. I can see where we turned. And of course, we still got, we got the live scope going. I don't know if we marked that guy, but. No. Give you a little 360. The Gitchigumi. And our solar panels are right over here. So we're right in that area. So I think I think we just focus on this area. I think so. Sean! Stay pinned. That's the one I missed, I swear. Yeah. I think it's a pink. I don't the whole school. Oh, it's a Laker. Oh, you're the Laker master. Three Lakers for you and one salmon for me. Not bad. I'm okay with that. You gotta pop out like the other ones. Another uh, nice eating size. Sir? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. You are all twisted up here, girl. A little bit smaller. That's okay, though. Oh, there it is. I was fishing with. I'll get the net. You focus on that. Joe's hooked up. 
And in the net. Beauty bud. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> awesome. Just out of the blue. Smoke. Just, just on, and you know what's funny? On that turn, I'm gonna flip this around. So we were looping around this big rock over here, and as we're doing this, this turn, in my head I'm thinking, Lake Trout love when you zig and zag, and then boom! the last laker you got right here that's what happened and you, yeah and you said you're like hey let's just hit this little inlet spot and then there we go lake superior lake trout <laughs> nice eater a little nice barbecue eater. fish another one for the cooler beauty it'll, it'll fit oh yeah <laughs> any bigger than that thought it was a chinook that peeled some line too eh uh yeah it bent the rod pretty good a little bit of shenanigans getting the net there but that's okay <laughs> Awesome. Well, that's what happens when they do this. <laughs> Let's do another pass. Yeah, so again, off this point. Same spot? Like, same spot. We came around the bed and just... Boom. Just a little guy. Yeah. But there's some good slabs on him. Oh, that water's so cold. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe you went in that. I don't, yeah, I just didn't think, I just did. <laughs> Let's see if we can get another one off that point. She wrote, folks. Uh, it wasn't too bad. It took us a while. <laughs> we didn't have to work very hard, but we had to put well, in the time. That yeah. is for sure. And we were just discussing before we got in. Well, first off, we had to get in the water. And our feet are currently numb. <laughs> yeah. I can't feel my foot right now. <laughs> but we were, we were talking, you know, what if we did that back and forth all day? But, hey, you don't know, right? You want to explore and this, that, and the other and yeah. whatever. Yeah, we traveled a lot of kilometers, but all the fish were in that one, like, maybe four or five hundred meters. Like Pretty every, much. Every, every fish was in that stretch. Yeah. Red house? Red roof. that rock. Red, yeah, red roof. Red, red roof was the uh, landmark. <laughs> <laughs> so, so whoever has a cabin that has a red roof. Let's, uh, let's get this, let's get this thing out. Let's do a little, uh, that's what we got. The first laker that, uh got to live another day yeah we, just, we released that for the fish gods yeah good there's your pink that's, that. the pink right that's there, a beauty yeah. someone's eating away. good it lost a lot of its color right when it died but there you go way to go brother you know check them out different fins i'll link below and uh let's see pull that pull that pink out let's see that pinky all right there look at the hump on it yeah humpback just a beauty. You're gonna have to let me know how that is. Yeah, I'm gonna try it and see what it tastes like. It's Some good... people say it's trash. I think it's gonna be good. The only trash salmon is the chum, chum, <laughs> chum salmon. I haven't caught those yet. And the only reason they do that is because it's for your, for your dog. Dog food. <laughs> yeah.